You don't care, do you? No. Have you actually seen what time it is? We have a clock right there. Exactly. It's about to be 10 p.m. And you're coming home this late to your girlfriend. You're ridiculous. And I've told you this. Shh, 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 shh. I am sick and tired of your excuses. What is so important that you have to go out twice a week with your so-called friends? Boys night. Oh, please. How old are you? Eleven? You don't need a boys night when you are in a committed relationship with a goddess like me. I mean, are you even aware of what you could be losing? I have so many guys in line just ready to sacrifice their life for me and here I am with you what? you don't want me to chew gum cause I'm smacking this is my life, my body I'm gonna do whatever I want So what? I mean, look at you. I'm not bringing you down. Wait, what is this? Come over here. Let me smell you. I knew it. So this whole time, you've been lying to me, huh? No, because your shirt smells like flowers. Why would you smell like flowers? Where are you running around in the meadows? I don't know any guy that uses floral fragrances. Do you think I'm stupid? Well, say whatever you want. Because I'm sure that you won't be able to leave me. I know how crazy you are. Yeah. But I've spent three years with you and I cannot get those years back. Somebody has to pay for it and that, my dear, has to be you. No wonder your father abandoned you. You're just not worthy of love. But I really wonder where your mommy issues come from. I mean, I tried. I really tried fixing you. If you have to... Well, listen. If you want to be with somebody like me, you have to level up. 
Because I don't date bums, you know that. I don't like your friends. What's his name? Bo and... What? Austin? Even the names give me an ick. Well, you're not gonna find what you're looking for. You're looking for your passport, aren't you? No, I didn't do anything. You have your ID, right? You can travel anywhere domestically for work, as you like to say to me. Okay, I'll show you. Wait, hold this. So, I know that your friends don't really like me and that you are a mama's boy. So you listen to your mom and she clearly told you not to be with me anymore. Apparently because I'm too high maintenance. Don't ask me how I know all of that, okay? Yeah, well, I have phone bills. Yeah, and there are ways to read somebody's text messages. I'm not spying on you. You do know that I fortunately or unfortunately love you, but just want to make sure that you're not playing with me and I don't want to get my heart broken. Nothing wrong about that. So, do you remember seeing this? Yeah, this is where you keep your passport, right? It's gone. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe you lost it somewhere. Don't ask me the when and why's. The only question I'm going to answer is what now? So just forget about it. You don't need a passport. You don't need one. Why? Why do you want to go somewhere without me? See, there's a lot that can happen and I just I'm not going to tell you what I did with it in detail, but giving you a little hint. This is what I love about fire. You know, people think it's only there to destroy things, but I actually believe it can also create things, powerful beginnings. Because now you won't have any more excuses to be looking for a job opportunity overseas. If you ever need to travel anywhere, I will go with you. And I will be the one taking you by road. What? No. No. It's nothing like that. Stop saying hurtful things. You're not my hostage. Actually, it sounds a little cheesy, but I feel like I am the prisoner that lives in your heart because you love me so much, don't you? Well, I love you too. Right now, all of this 
maybe a little confusing and upsetting but you know soon you'll get used to that and it's only for your own good you know I've told you this a million times you are not street smart as me you don't know how crazy people are they just want to People just want us to break up and I'm not gonna let that happen. More people, more friends, more problems. You don't need any friends. You have me. What else do you want? Um, well, don't worry about the passport. It's gonna be okay. What is that? No, I heard something. I heard something vibrating. Give me your phone. Right now. I'm tired of all these secrets. Why do you have a passcode on your phone? You don't need a passcode. Unlock it. Here. Don't look at me like that, stupid. Unlock the phone. Yes, my phone is also locked. But I have my reasons. Because oh, I, I have Amazon. And I order stuff frequently, including presents for you. And I don't want you to accidentally see those things. It's gonna ruin the surprise. Also, you're the one that is just not trustworthy. Why is it taking so long? Mm -hmm. So you have WhatsApp. Instagram, I know that. Didn't you tell me you deactivated your Instagram account? Okay. So why are you posting pictures on your Instagram? To let people know what's going on in your life? Nobody cares. You really think people care about your loser life and there is not even a single picture with me what the hell is that hold on hold on well baby I am not stupid yes I'm looking through your DMs and I do know there are ways to hide messages and I'm sure you did. I knew it. I would find what I was looking for. Oh. This is what she wrote. And you wrote. Let me read it out loud for you. You wrote on Tuesday at 7 21 p.m. This is my telegram name. Let's talk there and talk business. Okay, telegram, huh? So is this some kind of undercover affair I don't know about? Like, why do you need to be talking on telegram for? Who's this girl anyway? She's ugly. She's ugly as hell. Oh, just a friend. Okay. Uh, I don't believe this bullshit.
no why are you in such a hurry why do you want your phone back so badly no i just okay i'm just texting her really quick i am his girlfriend soon to be wife do not contact him you will regret it if you want to live happily back off good i feel already much better listen darling you have been very very bad and I'm not gonna take it. And no more boy time. No more men cave hangouts. No, what is that even about? Sure, I need to go and I do need a girl's night out. And you know why that is? Okay? Because I am a lady and I have tons of dresses and high heels and makeup and a need to dress up and need to go out and use that stuff because if I don't the makeup is eventually going to expire and I'm young I'm younger than you you are eight years older than me hello I don't even know why I am wasting my life with you. I bet you are just with me to get a passport. I know. And this is why I burned yours. Because this is my country. And I know you just, you're telling me you love me. Yet it doesn't seem like it. And apparently, you want to get married to me. And we fight all the time. We argue all the time. So why is it that you want to marry me? I wonder. And like my friend told me, you probably want to marry me for my passport. Because the country you are from, it's an embarrassment to have that passport anyway. You have no future. You have nothing without me. And you know that. So what if we pay the rent 50-50? doesn't do anything. I have been with men that paid the whole rent and this is how it should be. Clearly I'm too expensive for you and your trashy family. But you know what's funny? Now, when we go to the immigration lawyer, if you ever want to marry me, you can't because you don't have a passport anymore. <laughs> oh my god. So technically, you're stuck in the country as an illegal immigrant. Yeah, I like that. And even if you want to get things sorted out, you will need at least three to four thousand dollars. And you don't have that. Because you, all you do is hanging out with your loser friends that have no future. You know? Yeah, all you guys do is drink and smoke and go to the pub and play games. Well, I don't feel any guilty. In fact, I think this is going to motivate you to finally start looking for a job, a better future, and stop flirting with those girls. You're so narcissistic, manipulative. You're just taking advantage of your good looks, aren't you? 
because you know that girls here like your skin tone and your six pack but nobody wants a broke guy nobody wants extra baggage and that's you for now <laughs> oh, never have I ever been so proud of myself for doing something unethical as they say <laughs> don't cry I didn't mean to make you cry but this had to stop you really have to stop talking to girls like I don't even understand what your point is no there is nothing like friends only friends no no that does not exist no existamente claro fact is that you only need me legally emotionally physically in every way get it what do I do with you okay maybe we can come to an agreement if you really want to go out what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? With your friend Ben again. Maybe maybe I can let you go for the weekend, but under one condition I will come with you guys. What do you mean third wheel? Are you dating him or are you dating me? So who cares if he is gay? It doesn't matter. I think we all three should go out if you really want to go out. And this is not just another excuse to meet girls. And well, he can take pictures of you and me and you know I really want to get to know him as well and like because we both know I'm such a good judge of character that's why it's really important that I know your friends and well by the way before I forget to tell you that I believe next week Tuesday yeah Tuesday next week I am flying out to see my family well because it is important you don't need to know the details just worry about yourself right now so when I fly out I cannot take you with me because clearly you don't have a passport right now and I don't want my family to see you the way you are right now all of them will just get a heart attack and die it's gonna be a tragic tragic moment for all of us if they get to know you yeah because right now you are not at this stage where I can introduce you to my family we have to do so much work on you I'm technically being your parent you know I have to like raise you teach you discipline manners etiquettes fix you up so you will be staying here at the house right okay so guess what you know, 
I had those people come over on Friday. Yeah, so I had to take a loan and I asked them to install security system in the house. Yeah, so that means we have cameras everywhere in every room. Yeah, no, it's not for the dogs. It's for you, for your safety and protection. And I have them installed everywhere. Yeah, and <laughs> here comes the best part. It's all connected to my phone. So I can see you wherever I am 24 seven. And it gives me notifications if anybody pops in if we have guests which obviously there shouldn't be anyone coming over yeah yeah okay if you say so that I can trust you I clearly do so it's just for you know my peace of mind but here is something that I want to be honest about because I don't like to keep secrets I will have the doors locked permanently no you don't need to go out I'll be just gone for a nine day trip flying to Portugal Madeira from there to Lisbon and then Spain, Madrid, I'll be back in no time. But you, you will be staying in this house. I should be saying mansion because you know it's huge and you have everything you desire. And don't worry, I will make sure that our helper, Fernanda, fills up the whole fridge with food, snacks, and drinks so you don't die from hunger and thirst. Oh, my dramatic boyfriend, because I know how you are. Yeah. And also, yeah, don't worry about anything. It is now. It is completely legal to do anything with someone who is technically not even existent in a country since you were illegal now I'm gonna have so much fun with you <laughs> so you won't be able to leave the house but as you know we have a backyard right and you can have the gardener the new gardener I assigned a new one because I know how you are. You just want to be friends with the old guy. And then... Maybe you'll just try to bribe him. To get out of here. But that's not going to happen. Because the new gardener... <laughs> yeah, he's really nice. He's quite old. But he knows how to cut the flowers. Especially that tree over there. It's been bugging me. So... You can play badminton with him. Yeah. Or pickleball. We have a pool. We have everything. You don't need to worry about none of that. You'll be safe. Yeah. So, the only reason I'm telling you this is because if you want me to get you something like movies, um, coloring books, special snacks, or anything like a workout bench or something.